Thank you, sir, for your very interesting uh, uh, way of talking about the rainwater harvesting, connecting the doors from ancient to the latest uh, technology and the various way of doing the rainwater harvesting. Now, uh, we request our esteemed guest speaker, uh, Thiru C. Paul Parbakar, the Regional Director, Central Ground Water Board, Chennai, to address the workshop and give his invaluable points. Water resources, as well as uh, team from JICA, from Japan and their company, and all the others who have contributed a lot to work out this wonderful project together. And I feel proud, privileged to be a part of it on this occasion. And uh, I thank the organizers for inviting me for this occasion to have a feel of it and to be a part of it. Water is my passion. And being in Central Groundwater Board, it has, uh, it's in my being that to look forward that how to make available water to each and every one. Water resources, yes, is the need of the hour for everyone. Not only from now, from ancient times, as our office, our sir has told right now. But what is happening is we day by day, as the time is passing on, the due to the erratic rainfall, as he said, as well as the increase in population and urbanization and other factors like uh, uh, forests being removed, more and more area being occupied by concrete jungles, what we find is the water resources is depleting, are depleting very fast. Out of the 1,139 1, firkas that we have, more than 468 firkas are reeling under water crisis as far as groundwater is concerned, where it, they are either critical or overexploited. How much rain it is falling, people are using much more than that, be it for irrigation or drinking or for any other purpose. If this situation continues, what will happen? We as a administrators, planners here, you have a thought board here, you have a rural water supply people here, you have also metropolitan supply, water supply people here. We are all working hard to reach out to the people with the minimum water they requirement to give it to them. Under this precarious situation as the years pass on, it becomes a need very much pertinent that how to save every drop that we receive in our area. Every drop counts. And every drop will help us out to meet our needs of requirement of water. And today, as we, as our brothers, our scientists who are brought from Japan, the technology to save and conserve this water resource that comes through the rainfall. It's an innovative technique. What we are looking forward is how cost effective it is. We in CGWB, we are doing aquifer mapping. Maybe most of you are knowing about it or some of you might have heard about it. Aquifer mapping is the three dimensional aspects of the aquifer that holds water underground. When we do the mapping, we also come up with the solutions of managing that aquifer. The more the aquifer is under stress, the, what we find is the wells are failing. If the wells are failing, then no more the agriculture purpose they can use, but they have to go deeper. The more deeper the wells they go in, the more uneconomical the water resources will be to pump it out to use it for irrigation. So it is better to, we have to come out with one of the scenarios, how to recharge those aquifers, how to optimize our withdrawal from the aquifer so that it sustains all the wells. In that, one of the management is the rainwater harvesting. As we go to the people, we uh, make them aware of this problem. We also suggest that which and which areas we have to go for harvesting or artificial recharge. Cities as such, like Chennai and other, they need to have a system like this where you can store water. In the hay days, when there is a difficult circumstances, when the water, water supplies fail, you can depend upon it. 
and I'm sure the technology that has brought, I too myself has been very interested, in, inter interested to see those things, how they have put together and how much water they could save, uh, put, uh, put to use later on when the uh, monsoon takes place. But surely such type of structures will help us to mitigate the re water requirement, not only in these cities, in the distant places where the water crises are there. I congratulate State Water Resource Department, uh, State and Groundwater Resource Department for taking up this project. And I thank our JICA people who have come all the way from Japan and gave, extended their technology to us to look into it and have a feel of it. Even though we may not go there, but sir, we could have a feel of it. And thank you so much for giving us this gift to this city. I thank you all the organizers. Thank you, sir. Uh, it's a great message and every, every drop counts. So that's a great message for everyone for us. Now, we request our esteemed guest speaker, engineer G. Satyamurthy, chief engineer, OM, Chennai Metropolitan Water Supply and Sewerage Board, Chennai. Anaivarukum vanakkam. So, nirindri amyadu vulagum. There is no world without water. Water is uh, that much important. So, so as chief engineer, I am maintaining Chennai City's water supply. So, uh, the monthly requirement of uh, water is around 1 TMC. So, we require 12 TMC of water to maintain Chennai City's water supply. So, every three years, uh, we are facing drought situation in Chennai City. That is, the, that is the problem. To mitigate this, so we are using various measures. So we have made mandatory for all the households to have ground uh, rainwater harvesting structures in Chennai city. So Chennai is the first city in India which has made rainwater harvesting mandatory. Yeah. So we have uh, utilized the water from quarry also. Last year we have faced severe drought. We have used water in quarry. We have pumped and uh, pumped the water from Sikaraiburam quarry to our treatment plant. We have treated and uh, distributed to the Chennai city. Yeah, I thank the organizers for giving me the opportunity. Thank you, Unod. Thank you, sir. Now we request our esteemed guest speaker, Engineer S. Bimla, Chief Engineer and Director Savarma. Good afternoon, and I extend my warm wishes to the dignitaries on the stage and the officials who gathered here. Actually, today's mantra is save water. Everywhere we are hearing it, the same. And for the past one week, in the, in the WhatsApp group, we are uh, receiving a message that on the occasion of uh, Akshay Tidhi, please uh, put a container of water before the God and pray. Actually, so that we can get adequate or surplus water uh, in the uh, forthcoming monsoon. So, water has become such a precious thing. In this occasion, Groundwater CE and their team has made a marvelous uh, thing, storing that is rainwater harvesting, uh, that is about 8, liter, 8 lakh liters of water in a new way and put the first step in doing this. Actually, for the past uh, monsoon period, the, all the water which has been collected in the campus has been drained in, uh, into the uh, that is road adjacent to this. 
in the uh, they have come forward and stored the uh, precious water in a marvel way and even though they are uh, um, supplying uh, in the uh, each building in this campus with two taps of water in the way uh, form of drinking water uh, and they have put a pipe for the public use also and uh, i think this is uh, our department has uh, come forward uh, for uh, implementing this new scheme and thanks to adopting this scheme uh, for uh, groundwater ce and uh, the, his uh, technical team and uh, my special thanks to the japanese team for uh, implementing this scheme in uh, free of cost and um free for 3 years maintenance also thanking you thanks thank you ma'am now we come to end of the special address uh, now we will have the 15 minutes break and after the break we will have the workshop on various aspect of the projects thank you so we will join at 12:30 back distinguished guests who are seated in the dais and other engineers uh, i have been assigned only what of thanks but our agency has requested me to share with me some of my views with you when i joined as ciws our friend mr anthony anders approached me and informed me that a giga project is being executed in this campus so i actively uh, Uh, participated and viewed all the works with the japanese team has done systematically and engineer anbaras has uh, actually fully involved in this project and at the many stages i inspected this project and uh, know the full work of work how the japanese team has done this project so Uh, in 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 the, uh, doing their co- course of uh, execution they needed some assistance from the chief engineer iws to take some parts from the uh, port sila porulam yen sita solra sir sila materials avanga idhil irund port la irund edukkuradhukku namma sila technical projects inda sila idu kudukka vendi irundhathu so i have, we have given that and they have taken the materials like this pipes and other things and they have executed so uh, 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 they have helped us and uh, for further uh, uh, completing the project we have also uh, assisted as much as possible for by us and uh, the work has been very quality quality uh, qualitatively they have executed that i have seen that uh, for the concrete and other brick work and all the works they have executed in a systematic manner uh, because i have Uh, seen the work uh, at the stage by stage and uh, um, actually myself and uh, groundwater see has uh, participated in the bhumi puja when the project has started and now we are very happy that it has been completed touring our tenure and we are uh, here to uh, some our cm will inaugurate that but some of the project has been successfully completed and it is very much uh, pleasure and happiness to me that the project which is helpful to the uh, to our people that is our uh, iws groundwater and form of engineers and staff this will be this will help us in a tremendous way so i i thank the japan the, i think that um, uh, uh, the japanese team has identified a place that uh, we have to our institute and our groundwater people have to uh, suggest many more ways to store water and to store ground water and uh, to uh, surface water we have to do many things as i requested by our enc so uh, uh, in this much i uh, again i will come and thank at this stage uh, uh, i thank you for giving me this opportunity to share my views with you thank you thank you sir Uh, one correction uh, due to the hot weather and the time limit uh, we are uh, like to uh, you know uh, not to have uh, 
break and we continue the session. So hopefully we can complete on time. Now we'd like to invite Engineer S. Anthony Ambrasu, PWD Chennai, and Mr. Hisanaga Totesu, Tokyo, Japan, on a stage to give the presentation on plastic underground storage tank installed in PWD Taramani campus. And uh, just to save some time and to give a full effective communication to you in a nutshell, we are showing a five minutes, only five minutes video from A to Z. Please watch over that and then we will give a presentation. I hope, welcome sir, and I hope you will be able to see. Maybe side by side I will be explaining on behalf of uh, our uh, Totetsu Japan Company's project engineer, Mr. Kisanaga. Okay. This is the place where the excavation went on. We are standing here, right on the site we are sitting. And here in the groundwater building, we rearranged the flow of rainwater. You know, the length of the building is here. To the northern side, 50 percentage, and southern side, 50 percentage, the rainfall uh, was flowing through the weathering coat slope. We rerouted. We took the water from the north flowing and we diverted to the south flowing by a simple 25,000 rupees intervention. And now, 100 percent water from the building is harvested to the stand where we are sitting. And this is the basement. We put a conventional uh, plain cement concrete. And uh, this reinforcement is fixed in such a way that it is something like a beam, not like a slab. The reason is, we know pretty well that lot of construction activities will be going on. It's a water-bearing uh, structure. We didn't want to compromise anything on the possible crack. So, we paint the contractor, made him suffer some loss and we constructed the base lab as beams. We started the construction almost in the beginning of monsoon 2017 and at the time of construction, the groundwater is just two and a half feet below ground level. Two and a half feet only. This much depth only. But we excavated it up to 12 feet. Imagine the kind of dewatering we may have to do. And <coughs> this Partition plate, the black color uh, partition plate, colloquially we can call it hereafter as shoe. The shoe is 67 centimeter by 67 centimeter and uh, we allowed for some tolerance. It is coming from Japan, it is imported from Japan and we didn't have a confidence when we align, we align around 40-50 pieces, even 5 millimeter, 6 millimeter gap should not be making a trouble. So, we did a dry run. We arranged it and then we fixed the side wall reinforcement position. <coughs> and I thank <coughs> Mr. Imbe from the Rainwater Harvesting Society of Japan. He saw to that every worker, every human being entering the site is wearing a helmet. Thank you, sir. It's a sort of new culture for us. The idea is we put the plain cement concrete, we put the reinforced concrete and then we put the double bar for the side wall. We arranged one plate of one row of uh, black shoes and then on top of that we placed this six inches pipe in the middle and the four inches pipe along the periphery. The idea is the four inches pipe only 50 centimeter unsupported height that will be taking the lateral earth pressure as well as the vertical pressure. Whereas in the middle the six inches pipe will be taking only the vertical load. These blue color sheets are made in Goa and it's acting as a internal inside partition uh, farm work. So that when we pour the concrete, the concrete doesn't come into the inside the tank. So inside farm work is the blue sheet, outside farm work is the nine inches brick wall. 
and once the 2.08 meter uh, portion exactly the replica the prototype is here on top of that we need to add some counterweight because i told you in uh, monsoon here almost one foot of water will be on top of the ground in a dry period also the ground water level is maximum 1.7 meter only whether the water is good or not water level is 1.7 meter so we need to count provide some counterweight for that we spread close panirunga we need to spread some kadappa slab and on top of that 37 cm stone jelly and on top of that almost like a pave pavement not a structural concrete pavement one layer of 8 mm diameter rebar because all the while the unsupported span is only 67 cm so it doesn't need a very huge uh, concrete uh, roof slab this is the advantage so now we will uh, go into the presentation before going into the summary the, you, uh, i want humble request is since this is a new technology there may be many doubts suggestions or clarifications but please patiently wait till the fourth presentation is over because we have segmented the matter in four compartments maybe the doubt or intuition you are having right now may be naturally over by the end of the fourth presentation at the end of the fourth presentation we will have a thorough discussion i don't want to encroach upon my successes presentation thank you now you will get into that not at over the here up to here uh, mr hisanaga's uh, very good videographing what you have seen is his contribution and uh, now my simple presentation will come on thank you thank you sir now we will get into the presentation i i am very much aware of the hot weather and your uncomfort so i will finish it very quickly so next one madam <coughs> so uh, the, this is the structure of my presentation about our own pwd tharamani campus then the genesis of this huge project then initial interactions government approvals customs formalities and construction scheduling the role of the prince pipe you are seeing here and uh, the floods we encountered and a simple conclusion next madam as every one of you i don't know how many of you know our campus we are a very rich people we here we inherit 10 acres of land in this it park area and uh, three hods chief engineers are there in the campus around 250 government employees are here maybe if everyone comes on a day and then depends on lorry conveyed water only we don't have a continuous supply of metro water so we fully depend on lorry our chief engineer ground water office uh, needs three lorries per week iws probably one sorma and around we need seven or eight lorries per week and annual rainfall in this campus is 1235 mm per year and do you know the annual rainfall of whole of india only 890 mm we talk about gangetic plain assams everything on an average india's annual rainfall is only 890 mm we are a blessed people we have 1235 mm and we are also starving for water this is the place this is the kind of situation where the jaikas technology has a role next madam and uh, from board room to site you can see the first one on the top left mr waki <coughs> waki san actually in hindi we say uh, ram ji same way san s a n means ji that is we call him waki san and uh, um, we met in the conference room first time when they told that we are going to use plastic pipe as structural member it is a surprise to us because all in my 35 years engineering career in india and overseas i have never seen a pipe as a structural member we the moment we think plastic pipe it is as a conduit only we are seeing but first when mr takoy the old gentleman he talked about plastic pipes the first question asked is sir plastic is very expensive in india do you think it will be cheaper than concrete then he told 
yes then next question i put forth is how long it will stand he simply told i even i remember after one and a half years forever this is the answer he told that much confidence he had in his product and uh, here we had a uh, for the japanese our type of weathering coats is totally strange we first acclimatized them to our way of draining the roof and they sincerely took note and we studied and here you can see engineer baskar taking the tape i it he is a role model for all our assistant engineers i would rather say which assistant engineer would come forward to take the tip of the measuring tape as a engineering protocol industry only the coolie will take the tip of that measuring tape the engineer will be standing in the rear side but he afforded to go in and function as a coolie even and i respect him for that purpose as a real engineer then all our people were having on site discussion here next one madam the initiation started during the varda cyclone exactly during the varda cyclone i as executive engineer gauging division and my team assistant executive engineer vidya and assistant engineer baskar and his senior was an assistant executive engineer when we are on the jeep and when we were rolling down the uh, campus some coat suit people were coming strange to this department so we just made a courtesy call to them and the result you are sitting on now next matter a concerted effort to get approvals and our then chief engineer ground water engineer dinagaran and then chief engineer iws engineer gandhi madinadan they took up the matter to the extent possible with the government and they helped us get the government approval and sadly or um, happy uh, i don't know how to express this project has seen three chief ministers this project has seen three chief ministers <coughs> and finally our present chief minister has given the approval and he accepted the jaika team to his own residence he told uh, now everyone is waving one fan the same they presented to the honorable chief minister he was very happy and uh, he had a, he gave a very good reception to the jaika team and he gave the approval for this project also and uh, we started the project customs formalities as rightly our institute for water studies chief engineer told there were lot of hurdles customs and we learned a lot and i thank engineer vidya for her contribution in totally plowing through this internet and picking up the rules i proudly i would tell that the jaika team engaged one full fledged chartered accountant in new delhi they couldn't come out with the exemption rules she did it i would encourage all our young engineers to have that munaipu munaipu tamil that willingness to work and eagerness to work and next to the moment and this this project comprises of two major parts last time there was a septic tank here and this septic tank is now unified and shifted to the western end and now from this corner institute for water studies to the other corner association of engineers from this corner building research center here our guest house all can be accommodated in that huge uh, safety tank constructed by our contractor mr rubinson please stand up for one moment sir he is the contractor who did that safety tank construction and followed with this right hand side you see the 6 lakh liter un tank we are sitting on top of that around 12 meter by 28 meter side wall only imagine 8 inches 20 cm only 10 meter earth pressure it can never stand without this side short pipes and base lab how much do you think only 25 cm because at uh, end of the project we pretty well knew that there also we could have provided 20 cm wall but it's a new technology we wanted to play it safe so even though our designs calculations told even 20 cm is enough 
கேஸ் இன் சிங்கப்பூர் வி சைனீஸ் தே கால் இட் இஸ் கேஸ் தமிழில் நம்ம சொல்கிறது முன்ஜாக்கிரதை முத்தண்ணா அப்படிம்பாங்க அதை போல் வி ப்ளேட் இட் சேஃப் அண்ட் வி ப்ரொவைடட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் சென்டிமீட்டர் அண்ட் மேக்ஸிமம் ரெயின்ஃபோர்ஸ்மெண்ட் இஸ் டுவெல் மில்லிமீட்டர் ஓன்லி தட் ட்ரூ வி ப்ரொவைடட் ஃபார் கரோஷன் ப்ரொவிஷன் அதர்வைஸ் சிம்ப்ளி டென் மில்லிமீட்டர் ராட் வில் பி சஃபிஷியன்ட் ஃபார் திஸ் ஹியூஜ் டேங்க் அட் டுவெண்ட்டி சென்டிமீட்டர் சென்டர் டு சென்டர் அண்ட் அவர் கான்ட்ரைட்டர் மிஸ்டர் ஜெரால்ட் ஹூ டிட் இட் வித் லாட் ஆஃப் பெர்சவரன்ஸ் திஸ் டேங்க் வாஸ் ஃப்ளட்டட் டூ டைம்ஸ் டூ டைம்ஸ் இட் இஸ் in the un tank was floating like a ship unfortunately uh, over uh, yesterday we all went home around 4 am so we couldn't show everything please stand up sir one moment and uh, we specially thank our two contractors without any murmuring they did lot of dewatering lot of sludge removal and even though we are a department even though they are a jaika team even though we are making them payment from the depth of their heart they came forward to do repetitive works thank you then next next minute and uh, construction team here <coughs> mr engineer uh, <coughs> mr hisanaga he is a veteran in japanese and uh, can manage in english here the contractors veteran in tamil they manage in english but they did a wonderful communication throughout the project they, they, you can see them nobody else around no interpreter but they are conversing and they are making a communication probably drawing is the en- language of engineers even a drawing can be a language of engineer why not the physical sight itself the- next madam in the construction we came across trying times dead of the night 3 o'clock 4 o'clock we were doing the side concreting the internal blue sheet came away a little bit and concrete came in the contractor and who is on the left hand side i want the answer from our young engineers who is on the left hand side on the right hand side contractor okay he has to get the payment and he is struggling mr gerald is there on the right hand side early morning 3 o'clock in that corner and who is on the left hand side assistant engineer baskar is there what is he doing is he functioning as an engineer he is more than a சித்தாளை விட மோசமான வேலைகள்லாம் செஞ்சிட்டு இருந்தார் நெக்ஸ்ட் தென் வி டிட் எ மெட்டிகுலஸ் டெஸ்டிங் அண்ட் அக்செப்டட் த ஹை குவாலிட்டி பைப் சப்ளைடு பை மெஷர்ஸ் பிரின்ஸ் பைப் சிஸ்டம் கேன் எனி ஒன் கம் சார் ப்ளீஸ் ஒன் மோமெண்ட் மிஸ்டர் மதிவானன் and when we went to their plant he received us very well and he made the pipe to our specification it is not a standard pipe it is custom made pipe and and he is the head of prince pipe system as far as we are concerned and thank you sir thank you for the pipes and that's why i asked our laborers to put the prince name in the visible place wherever because they did it for us specially they gave it on time next minute and one, one moment or idu mundi ponga madam and uh, the short pipes we tested in a utm this long pipe cannot be tested in a utm so imagine vallavanukku pullum aayidam for a powerful man even a grass is a powerful tool so we tested uh, the pipe this pipe we put totally 50 numbers of resins bags equal to 2.5 tons you see the cartons on side the two cartons together they weigh 2.6 tons the 2.6 ton was placed on top of one pipe without any lateral support it was hale and healthy and that's after testing that only we had the courage to place it in our campus even though it is japanese technology they are giving full assurance but as a department officer we have our own responsibility to take delivery of the material only after testing and our load on top of that is hardly 800 kilos but it can take up to 2.6 tons the factor of safety is more than 3.5 next madam and the jaika team and pwd were working together but japan government sent some independent team and one lady and one engineer they came and went through it they work thoroughly and they told they are very very happy and that 
that uh, smiling happiness we take it as a reward for us next madam and uh, this is a corollary kadaila <coughs> jama when i was a bachelor in triple again <coughs> during deepavali time or pongal time if you go to the mess after uh, 16 rupees lunch they give some pongal as inam same way in this project we bust a myth that this taramani campus is unsuitable for rainwater harvesting and artificial recharge this is a universal concept but when we did the excavation from 2 meter to the 3 meter almost 1 meter locally there was a river bed imagine once upon a time a river was flowing from the northern direction through here so we came across a beautiful aquifer and the, to make use of that aquifer we constructed the circular well there so whenever there is no rain but after pongal no rainfall but the subsurface flow will be there that we are capturing the quality is beautiful you can directly use it for domestic purpose and we will we have that means we are reducing the load on this tank we are avoiding taking water from this tank and we are using the well water for the to- domestic toilet purposes next madam quick so the tank was flooded two times we walked together what baskar and kisanaga are doing in the flood the entire thing floated the black pipe the black top cap came out of the vertical pipe so they have to cautiously walk through holding each other's hand if one person goes in other person has to lift up this that is the kind of cooperation we had and we brought back the un tank or colloquially called aqua palace this arrangement they call as aqua palace back to life quick come madam thank you sir and our conclusion is this uh, project was a demo project of japanese technology to indian conditions and it worked successfully thank you thank you to the next madam thank you and thank you especially to the people of japan who donated it to us thank you thank you for the great presentation now we'd like to invite mr Okui from the Rainwater Harvesting Association from Tokyo, Japan to talk about water supply potential of rainwater harvesting system installed in PWD Taran- Taramani campus. Okui, sir. Everybody, Vanakkam. I am um, Okui from Japan. I, uh, I talk about uh, water supply potential Uh, installed in Taraman campus, rainwater harvest system installed in this campus. And then please next. And then this shows a layout plan, layout, layout of rainwater harvesting system. We have a whole tank, T1 tank, T2 uh, tank is uh, existing. Each storage capacity is uh, 100 uh, cubic meter. And, uh, T sun tank is a newly built it. This is, we say, UN tank. This storage capacity is a six lakh. Uh, incorrect, 6.2 lakh kiloliter, uh, liter. And then T on ta- T whole tank is a existing tank. Its storage capacity is a, a 200 cubic me- uh, meter. So totally, this campus has a, a 1,000 12 cubic meter storage capacity. And then we collect the rainwater from the five buildings. So you, you can see the five buildings around the T1 tank, T2, uh, T2 tank, T3 tank. So this, already you know this, uh, in this campus, uh, almost 250 staff working here. We want to supply the, them to the toilet flushing water and uh, drinking water. And then uh, data sent rooftop, we place a water treatment plant. This treatment, treatment capacity, 500 liter per hour. And also we uh, provide a water ATM near the uh, entrance. 
So please next. So I simulate by using the uh, past rainfall data between 2002 to 2016. By using uh, around uh, 15 years daily rainfall, I calculate, I simulate how much we can get the rainwater and how much we can use the rainwater uh, per annual, per year. So uh, from the rooftop, uh, collection rate, we just uh, decided 0 0.8. So rainfall uh, can get from the uh, rooftop, 80% is uh, correct to the uh, storage tank. But if uh, storage tank full, this, this overflow and discard it. And also every, every uh, day we uh, use the water. This we uh, define the water demand. So this time, please next time, please next. And this time I calculate uh, for the uh, 230 people uh, use the toilet flush, 40 liter per capita per day. Also, uh, these 230 staff and outside people, 1,000 people use the three liter per capita per day for drinking water they use. This condition, this water demand, uh, it comes 3.8 millimeter per day, uh, per day. And also, this uh, storage capacity, we uh, divided catchment area. We uh, define this value as storage height. It comes uh, almost 300 millimeter, okay? And then please, next. This is uh, uh, rainwater data obtained from here. I, I using this daily rainfall, and then this is simulation. Next, please. This is the uh, overhaul, uh, how much water uh, utilized. Uh, bottom black lines are storage height. So once rainfall come, it increase, but uh, no rainfall decrease. And uh, annually, this fluctuation you can, you can see. And then uh, middle uh, horizontal red line is uh, annual water demand. If this, uh, uh, if red, bottom red color reach this line, you can, uh, uh, Rain, rainwater uh, volume is enough for annual water demand. But from this uh, calculation, uh, sorry. Uh, maybe you cannot see, uh, maximum is 93% uh, sufficient rate, but uh, minimum is uh, 65. Average is 80%. Uh, so by using rainwater uh, harvesting system, you can utilize 80% of uh, rainwater for the annual water demand. Okay? Next, please. And uh, I separate, uh, before is a total system. Next time I calculate uh, only for toilet uh, flush, toilet flushing uh, uh, storage tank. And uh, this, time, this time simulated below, below but uh, you can see the average, this average. Uh, it comes uh, 72 percent for the uh, uh, toilet flushing. And the next, please. This is uh, uh, for drinking water. Supply is uh, 1,230 person, uh, three liter per day per capita. By using this condition, you can see. Uh, Average is a 99 percent, so you can uh, supply the drinking water to the people almost 100 percent by using this system. Okay. And then, not using uh, simulation, I just uh, make uh, some relationship graph. By using this graph, you can easily get the how much uh, sufficient ratio. So. This is by using uh, Chennai uh, rainfall data, and then this condition, we not supply the uh, uh, water week, weekend, only working hour uh, 
uh, we supply the water to the people or staff. Okay. And then uh, bottom, you can see. Uh, Okay, you choose the next one. And then I calculate how much you can earn the money by using rainwater. Top is uh, you are now buying a tank lorry uh, water. So this calculate, I just, I don't explain about uh, in detail, but you, you can see the red color. PW uh, saves the money for buying the, uh, the tanker's water. It's almost 1.2 lakh per year. You can save the money. And the next, this is uh, drinking water, uh, regarding the, the drinking water. This is uh, we uh, sell the uh, uh, treated water to the people very, with a very less price. It comes. Uh, around, uh, around uh, two lakh, you can uh, earn the money two lakh by, by supply to the outside people. And then next, you buy the drink water in, uh, in this office. It comes around nine lakh, okay? So total, you can save the money, 12, uh, 12 lakh. So it, it means that uh, spend the construction, initial cost, you can cover the six year or seven year something. If this condition okay, you can uh, cover the, uh, by selling a, uh, water, treated water. Okay, next. And then one, uh, one more I explain about the treat, uh, water treatment process. Rainwater itself is less TDS. So we apply the, not RO system, we apply the uh, sun, uh, Ozonation, and then sand filter, carbon filter, and microfilter four step, and then UV, UV system, and then treated treat water supplied to the each building and uh, water ATM. And then from now on, we monitoring the data. We check the rainfall itself, also water level in the tank, and how much uh, cons uh, consumes the water. Then we uh, evaluate our estimation is okay or not. So next one, uh, next one year, one year after one year, I present again this result. So thank you very much.